Okay, let's see uh, how to uh, make a circuit in PSPY 17.4 and simulate that because the user interface of 17.2 and 17.4 are a bit different. So uh, in the lab computers, there are 17.4 installed. So uh, I will try to uh, draw a circuit uh, in 17.4 and then simulate that. At first, search with captured CIS 17.4, like this. Okay, so now you have uh, PCB design CIS and PCB librarian Excel. So uh, I have found that uh, either one works fine, but uh, it's better to use a PCB design CIS. Let's go with that. But if you choose the librarian, I think it will work too. But uh, I will show you uh, using PCB design CIS, and it should work fine. Okay. All right. So uh, if you um, download and install the trial version of 17.4, then probably the user interface will be black. But here in the licensed version in lab computers, the user interface is seen to be um, whitish, but uh, the user interface uh, should be uh, same uh, with, uh, with the trial version of 17.4, only except the color. So let's try uh, creating a circuit. File, new, then project. Okay, you have to click on enable PSPY simulation. Otherwise, you will not be able to simulate the circuit. So here it is clicked. And uh, the location uh, can be like this and uh, use a name. Say test 17.4. Uh, okay, or maybe 17.4. Okay. Uh, now, uh, don't use the analog GND symbol or anything else. Use uh, just a blank project. Okay. Fine. So you have the uh, this uh, hierarchy already docked at the left side. Now let's create a schematic uh, that is already created here. This is the schematic phase one. Now, uh, like, uh, just um, like uh, you, you have got in 17.2, the place part is here, or you can get place part from here too, from the top menu, place and then part. Okay, so I'm clicking here. Okay, now, uh, it looks like, okay, yeah, <laughs> it was actually <laughs> disabled, so I was confused. So here, uh, uh, the first thing when you, uh, uh, when you uh, try to use it for the first time, then you have to add the libraries. Probably you need to add the libraries if the libraries are not available here. Uh, I have heard uh, from uh, from some guys that in case of 17.4 licensed version, the, the libraries are, are already uh, loaded here. So that's that will that, that's great. But if, if the libraries are not there and you are unable to find anything here from from the uh, search field uh, in place part then you have to import the library. So uh, how to do that? Let's see. Just go here, add library, and then select everything here in the pspice folder of the directory where you installed pspice. Select everything like control A, and then uh, open, open those. So I'm not doing that because I already did that here. This is the uh, TA computer of room 325. So everything uh, should be set up, uh, already should already be set up here. Now uh, try to find the voltage source. V pulse, okay, not V square or anything else. V pulse. I'm selecting a V pulse, and then register R. Okay. 
and the capacitor C, C analog, like this, and the ground. Okay. All right, now uh, I will find the ground from here, the uh, place ground or something, yeah, place ground, and there should be this option here also, place ground, yeah. place ground, zero cap sim, not GND cap sim, like I told you already, okay, but I have those two grounds, let's remove one, and then do the wiring, okay, so, uh, I think you you, uh, you can notice that 17.4 uh, uh, is mostly similar to 17.2. There are, uh, I mean, uh, there's um, not a lot of uh, differences. So uh, if you know how to work with 17.2, then uh, you should be able to work with 17.4 also. Okay, not a big deal. Just a, a few changes, not many major changes. But yeah, in the trial version, the color is a major change, but that will not uh, bother you, I guess. So connect this. Yeah. Just quickly use some values. Uh, V1, V1. Uh, what is V1? V1 should be the the minimum voltage. Let's see. Set it to zero. V to 10 time delay it's zero rise time one pico fall time one pico uh what can be the period say um it is uh no uh, uh, this is pulse width so it will be half of the uh, period so say it is um 2.5 millisecond and say this is five millisecond, okay, the period. Just keep the values like this and simulate for simulation. I'll need PCC cap C, output, input. This is in and this is out. Now create a new simulation profile any name then uh, time domain general settings time domain transient run to time our period is five milliseconds so let's so uh, let's um, let's show a few uh, time periods say 20 milliseconds and done now, uh, it's, uh, just it's optional, but I'm doing this, just putting some voltage probes here so that the voltages at these nodes are plotted immediately. And one here also, because I just want to save time. Uh, now, let's uh, simulate the run. yep it's already plotted but okay so probably my uh frequency or time period selection was not that good let's change that or maybe change the value of the capacitor let's make it one microfarad and make it five millisecond and make it 10 milliseconds. Now let's see. Yeah, now it's a lot better. So, uh, and so in this way, you can just uh, you can simulate the circuit, and it's, it's quite it's pretty similar to 17.2. So I think you should not have any problem. Just make sure you change the background from black to white. It, it looks a lot better. You can do that from tools, options, and then color settings, and then background. To white foreground to bla uh, black yeah okay yeah and then you can change the thicknesses and stuff and everything okay so thanks i hope uh, this video will help you